Welcome to Control Engineering Playlist. I, Professor Ritesh Dolakia, is going to explain you the unit impulse response of first order system, where here our system will be first order system to which we will be giving unit impulse input and we will be observing what will be our output. So first I will have to show you first order system. So in this first order system, my input is R of S and here we have negative feedback and my first order system that is 1 divided by s into t in laplace domain my system is there and my output is c of s over here and there is a unity negative feedback you see like this so this is standard first order system which we have and here our input is r of s which will be unit impulse signal and we are a little bit to observe output c of s in Laplace domain as well as in time domain. So here, first of all, I need to identify transfer function of the system. So transfer function that is ratio of output divided by input. So C of s divided by R of s. And for unit negative feedback, transfer function is system gain divided by 1 plus system gain. So here system gain that is 1 by s into t divided by 1 plus system gain that is 1 by s into t. So if you simplify this further by taking LCM c of s divided by r of s that is 1 divided by 1 plus s into t. So this is my transfer function. Now in this system our input is unit impulse. So for unit impulse input R of s that is equals to 1 and for time domain R of t that is del t right. So impulse is there at time t is equals to 0 otherwise its value is 0 for t is not equals to 0. So that is how impulse signal that is there with us. I will show you graphically also. So here our agenda is to identify C of S in Laplace domain and in time domain. Right. So here as per this transfer function C of S that is input R of S into 1 divided by 1 plus S into T where this R of S that is 1. So we can say C of S that is 1 divided by 1 plus S into T. Now we wanted to have this output in terms of time domain. So let me readjust this. So from denominator I am taking T common. So 1 by T into 1 divided by S plus 1 by capital T. Now to this we can apply inverse Laplace. This output now that will be there in time domain. So 1 by t into e to the power minus small t by capital T u of t. So this is how our output c of t will be there in time domain as if input is impulse. Right. Now I will show you graphically how things are happening. So to understand this graphically let me plot graphical presentation. So here we have time, here we have amplitude and in this here our input is impulse. So I am just darkening my input you see and this is my input impulse which is del t. Right. Now my output that is 1 by t into e to the power minus t by capital T. So you just see as time t increases my output will decrease and at time t is equals to 0 e to the power 0 that will make it to 1. So my output c of t that is 1 by t. So at time t is equals to 0 my output that is 1 by t 
and as time increases my output will decrease exponentially so my output that will decrease exponentially you see and that will decrease as per this function so my output that is 1 by t into e to the power minus t by capital T right and I am not writing u of t here the reason is we just consider graph for t greater than 0 so for this portion only we are just considering our graph so that is how response will happen with first order system if you have input impulse signal so that is how response will happen I hope that you have understood this video thank you so much for watching this video if you have any query you just place your queries in comments definitely I'll try to get back to you as if I can sort out those issues which is there with your study thank you so much for watching this video